Hey YouTube, this is uh, Max83112. Haven't made a video in a while, and uh, I've been going to school and doing a lot of crap right now. So, I thought, hmm, I should start building something. So, this is what I've come up with. It's going to be a cold smoker. I'm going to have a Ventrilli, um cold smoke generator on the outside. I'll uh, make a video on that one too. I probably will finish that one tomorrow. And, uh, basically what this is going to do is it's going to smoke cheeses, bacons, um, cottage cheese, uh, what else, sour cream, anything that's basically, um, like a milk product, or can't be in a normal smoker because of the temperatures we, uh, succeeding over, I think it's like a hundred and something degrees. Um, so, what this is going to do is, it's going to be able, it's going to have a door on the front. And the door's going to open, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, basically, it's going to have shelves. It's going to have um, basically cookie sheets that are going to be, or uh, what is it called? Cookie cooling sheets. And they're going to be staggered at like so many inches or whatever. And then I'll be able to slide my trays in and out. And then I can take those out. And I can put, you know, bacon, fish, any of those milk products that I want. Can slide it, uh, slide the um, trays back in, shut the door, and then basically start my cold smoker. Now I haven't finished this completely. I still have um, some food safe, the um, what is it called, wood glue, and that is on there right now. That's just to fill in all the cracks. If you make one, you can use caulking, or you can also use, um, like I said, wood glue. And that's what I'm using on this one. It's uh, uh here. Let me get a good. It's wood, or wood safe. <laughs> it's, uh, wood glue that is, um, food product safe. So, as you can see, I got some beads down there drying. It takes about 35 minutes to dry, but it's cold out here. It's probably about 40 degrees, so I'm going to leave this overnight to dry. Um, as for a locking mechanism, the door's going to be on here. The hinges are going to be one there, and then there. Two should be fine. This will then have, um, gasket put on. So that uh, no air or anything leaks. Let me turn this thing around for you. As for a locking mechanism, this is what I've come up with so far. I have uh, two of these. And uh, I'm going to place the other one down here. And what it's going to do is this piece, the spring, will be mounted to the door. And then when the door is shut, I can instantly, you know, pull it over and... It'll be under pressure, so that'll hold pressure from the door onto the uh, gaskets. Um, and hopefully make a good seal. If I can turn this thing around a little bit more. That's basically that side. Oops, as I'm dropping things. Alright. I'm doing this at night, so it's, <laughs> I don't have much good light to uh, show you guys. Um, this is the back of it. Oops. This is the back. Right here is a slit, I guess you would call it. And the slit right here is basically going to allow smoke to come out. The cold smoke generator is going to be on the other side, but uh, I'll use this side since it's in the light. Um, on the other side, it's going to be placed, uh, you know, about right here in the middle, or not in the middle, but up on the top left. And that's where the hole is going to be drilled for the cold smoke generator. And if I had it there, the smoke would come out of the cold smoke generator and just go right through here and out but i don't want that because i want the smoke to transfer air through the entire thing in about two minutes i don't want the smoke just instantly coming out of these slots so what it's going to do is i'm going to have a plexiglass a piece of plexiglass i'm going to clean it real good i'm going to cut it to size and there's going to be a false wall in the back of the um of the actual uh um, smoke box. Let me turn this around. Let's see if I can get it in here. Alright, that hole right there, there's going to be a false wall back here. About maybe an inch, maybe half inch. And the smoke's going to come from, you know, this side, or the other side, but it's going to, well, I can show you that, it's in the light. It's going to come from right here. Smoke's going to fill it up. Um, I want my air to circulate in two minutes, so in two minutes I want a fresh um, batch of smoke coming in, which is probably going to be uh, apple or cherry or something like that, depending on what I want. Um, 
the slot is going to have the false wall, like I said, about a half inch. So the smoke's going to come from here, come down. I'm sorry for the poor lighting, guys. The smoke's going to come down. It's going to fill from the top down because the smoke's going to be a little bit warm. And hopefully down here I'm going to have some ice so the heat is going to stay up a little bit higher. When it cools down, it's going to fill this entire chamber. And then there's going to be about a half inch gap, um, half inch away from the wall, half inch from the floor. And or from the bottom of the uh, smoker and the smoke's going to fill up and then go into that slot and then it's going to go out or up and out through the false wall in the back so and if it's I'm going to have to do a couple measurements and see what the CFM and everything is but if if it's half inch away and half inch up from the bottom it should do at least two minutes uh, for airflow so a new um, a new box of air will be filled so that's basically it um when it gets uh when it gets daylight i'll get up pretty early so i can start finishing this um but after the wood's dry and everything or the wood glue's dry i'm gonna sand it down and get everything even because as you can see you know i got a little bit this is higher than this piece so i'm gonna sand it all down so it's flush um i sanded this down a little bit it's really smooth I hit this with uh, 100 grit, and then I'll probably hit it with uh, 250 to even it all out, and to make it uh, really smooth. So, uh, yep, thank you for uh, watching, and uh, have a nice day.